Hi everyone, I'm Jake. I'm Robert. With the Living Planet Aquarium. And we're here at Wasatch State Park enjoying this wonderful fall day. But winter is just around the corner, which means plants and animals are busy getting ready. Of course. Birds fly south, squirrels store food. And other animals eat a lot. They build up fat, which keeps them fed for their long winter hibernation. But what about all these trees? What do they do to prepare for winter? Do trees hibernate? I think they do hibernate because when they lose their leaves, it's like they're sleeping. I would say yes, because every year they change colors, they lose their leaves, and to me that's when they would be falling asleep. I think they do because everything needs to sleep once in a while. They come alive in the spring, come the fall, they slowly lose their colors, die off, and are dead throughout the winter, and the spring they come out again. Before we can answer that question, we need to understand what hibernation actually means. That's a great idea. Let's ask our friend Peter to see what he has to say about this winter phenomenon. Thanks guys. Animals hibernate in different ways. Reptiles, amphibians, mammals, you name it. Most warm-blooded animals like this hedgehog try to maintain a steady body temperature. But during freezing winters, this means eating a lot of food. Instead of wasting energy hunting or foraging, some animals eat more during the spring, summer, and fall and build up enough fat to sleep it out. Those are cool, but bears are the classic hibernators, right? No, I'm glad you brought that up. Popular belief is that bears are hibernators, but they don't necessarily sleep through the entire winter. Instead, they enter a state of torpor. They survive on fat reserves and they lower their breathing and heart rate. So it's similar to true hibernation, but bear would still wake up pretty quickly if you tried to poke it. True hibernators like bats, rodents, and some relatives of our cute little hedgehog friend here go out cold and they need to restart their systems before they can even get up and move. Thanks, Peter. Now that we understand more about how animals hibernate, let's get back to the plants. Just like animals, plants also have to prepare themselves for winter. So again, do trees hibernate? Well, let's look at it. What kind of changes do we see as this tree prepares itself for winter? The leaves are changing colors. Exactly! Something important is clearly happening. You know, I love seeing the leaves change color and start to fall because fall is my favorite season. Pumpkin pie, pumpkin spice lattes, pumpkin cookies. <laughs> pumpkin everything. But we're talking about deciduous trees. You know, the kind of trees whose leaves change color and then fall to the ground. Yeah, to understand what's going on inside these leaves, we need to look a little bit closer. The green color of leaves is caused by a pigment called chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is found in chloroplasts, the part of the plant cell that absorbs rays of light to create sugars for photosynthesis. This sugar is basically the food of the tree. And what's amazing is just like animals that hibernate, trees can store their food to survive the winter. But as fall approaches, things begin to change. Leaves can sense that winter is coming because the length of daytime gets shorter. And shorter! Which means there is less... And less! ...light for photosynthesis. <laughs> These leaves depend on light to help create their own food for energy. But in winter, there isn't enough light for photosynthesis, so the tree saves energy by breaking down the chlorophyll. Once the chlorophyll disappears, there's a chance for other colors in the leaves, colors that have been there all along, to finally shine through. That's what's so cool about this. The colors we see in the fall are from chemicals already in the plant. The green of the chlorophyll is just so dominant that during the sunny parts of the year, we don't get to see these beautiful yellows and oranges until the green goes away. That's right. The fall colors we do see, like the reds and purples, are the result of many processes the tree does in order to get itself ready for winter. But trees are made up of a lot more than just leaves. What about the rest of the tree? Well, a big reason why trees want to lose their leaves in the winter is to avoid the water inside from freezing and thus damaging the plant cells. And no plant cells, no, no tree. tree. Tree sap is also helpful because it acts like antifreeze in a car, keeping the tree itself from freezing inside. Then when spring returns, and with it more daylight energy for photosynthesis, the trees are able to use some of the sugars they store through the winter to make new leaves right away. You know, I think that answers our question, Robert. Do trees hibernate? Well, Jake, in their own way, some of them do. But we also have to remember that not all trees hibernate. Evergreen trees, like pine trees, don't lose their leaves because their leaves, well, in this case, their needles, have a special wax coating, as well as sap inside that keep the leaves from freezing. So they're green all year round. Oh, they're evergreen. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway. So some trees hibernate while others don't. And some animals hibernate and others don't. I mean, I don't hibernate, do you? No, but I wish I did. I wonder if I could force myself into torpor. Well, if you figure that out, let me know. Will do. Anyways, thanks for joining us today as we explored, discovered, and learned more about how trees survive the winter. Hey, 
Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Um, hot chocolate? Duh, that's how I survive the winter. Oh yeah, sounds good. <laughs> See you next time.